Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be constructing the in-center and the in-circle of a triangle. And my favorite way of remembering this is just to say that the in-circle is always within the triangle versus the circumcircle, which is around the triangle. Um, so keep that in mind and let's get started. Okay, so here is our finished in-circle and in-center. And as you can see, we've bisected our angles and where those two bisectors have crossed, we drew our in-circle. So let's see how this is done from scratch. Right, so our first step here is gonna be to bisect any two of the angles. So the first angle we're gonna bisect is over here at X. So to bisect this angle, we're gonna swing an arc which cuts um, both the, the sides surrounding this angle. So uh, we're gonna cut it here and here. And then from these two new intersections, we're gonna draw two more arcs out in the middle of the angle, which cross, as you can see, in the middle like this. And the next step now is gonna to be to just join the vertice X to this new intersection. So we're just going to join it and get a nice angular bisector which is going to come out nicely into the middle so it can cross with our next angular bisector as well. So now we're just going to repeat this process but this time at the angle which is at Y. So at this angle we're going to swing two arcs of our compass which cut both sides once again around the angle. And we're just going to use our compass again to get two arcs which cut once again out in the middle of the angle so they're just going to meet somewhere out here and once again we're going to join this back uh, to the vertice y to get our angular bisector. We're just going to make sure we join it back uh, such that I can actually you know get out far enough and cross with this other angular bisector we have from x. And so this is our in center now and our final step to get our in circle is going to be to just uh, use our compass distance to be the shortest possible distance from each side so that it barely touches each side and basically is completely contained within the triangle. So we're gonna swing around so that it touches each side like this. And this is our in circle. So that is it for this construction and I'll see you next time.